Okay, so thought I would share with you just a flip through of a journal that I have just finished today. Now, there's a lot of strange things in here. This is my first page. And this started back in 2015. And I've done a very wide mix of things in here. Um, this isn't really finished. I'm just going to keep just writing in pencil and then work over it. But yeah. And then I've done like journal pages. Almost like a, like a planner, bullet journal, sort of diary sort of thing. And then there's more arty pages. This one I liked so much that I made it into a canvas. There's a lot of talc in here because the pages are sticking together. And, uh, when I first started journaling I was watching some Donna Downey videos so I did a page with ideas in case I get stuck in, in my journaling. Dedicated to tea and some of the Christmas gifts that I got. <laughs> I like this page too. I like the textures. This face I did not like, but I've got better since then, so you know. Onwards and upwards and all that. I like this page. Some more journaling. I love this page should do more of these sorts of pages. Quite like these pages. More journaly type pages. This book was really all about experimentation. Don't really like this page. <laughs> this one was inspired by Marta, Marta Lepkowska. Miami Small Art on YouTube if you want to find her. I like this one. Mm, yeah, this one was a um, blackout poetry, sort of. What did we get? Uh, it is important to be wholeheartedly romantic, be courageous, mischievous, and highly memorable moments and late nights will help the path of true love. <laughs> this one, I didn't put a quote on it, but sort of inspired by Donna Downey. She had these journals with little inserts in that she was working. Kind of a fun page. This is my Halloween page. This was inspired by an artist called Fiona Ray. R-A-E. Right. Um, another journaling page. It's got a bit wet. Doesn't really matter. Play pages. These I started on the train. I used to travel by train to my fiance's house. I think that one started on the train as well. Yeah. Very stylistic. I was playing with my woodies for the first time in that one. Again, could probably put a quote on there, but yeah, kind of like it how it is. But so I was playing with my new Dina Wakely stamps. Just sitting at my fiance's playing with that one, gluing down some scraps. Quite like this one. Um, these are some napkins. Again, I don't know really what to put on there for a quote. I like this one. <laughs> this is my um, background paper that I made from junk. Junk mail and just stuck loads of things on it and painted it. There's a video of that. And the quote says, From a procrastination standpoint, today has been wildly successful. And this one I just finished today. Again, that's another Mag Mag Slotley inspired kitty cat head. Listen, before I had my coffee, I didn't know how awesome I was going to be today either. 
So these are the um, Tim Holtz. Um, I forgot the name of the collection, but something like um, Sassy Chat or something like that. It's all sarcastic quotes and things like that. It fits my dark humour. Now this journal um, was actually from Tiger. It's just a sketchbook. Some of the pages are glued together, some of them are not. Um, and I did work from front to back in this journal, which is why it's so skewed to the back. So it gets difficult to work on the back pages when you journal like that. So I would advise flicking through the journal and doing random pages rather than working from front to back. Um, didn't know that before then. Although I'm not really, it's not the end of the world. It's Still a cool journal, still love it. I'm going to go in my box of completed journals now. And now I'm working on this one, which I do have, I'm pretty sure I have a video on how I made this. This is a cover for, I bought it from my tablet, but it was too, didn't fit. So I thought I would use it as a book cover. And it's just got random paper in it. So I'll be working in that next. So I hope you enjoyed that flip through and see you soon. Bye bye.